the first time I read about it, I said, yeah, I definitely want to do it. And then I thought of the reasons why I want to do it. And um, not only that excited me because it was a, a brilliant filming project and, and I would just sort of test my abilities and my capacity to, to just have 12 hour shoots and then just uh, do really good things and to discover a lot of things about myself and to work with people that I respect. I am, I used to be a Christian, a very strong believer and religious person and then I, uh, I, I, I was just I became more of a spiritual person and lost the contact with religion. What am I searching for when I'm filming? I think that first of all I'm searching for human emotion. Um, in the best poetical um, aesthetic way. For the director, <laughs> the ears we give to the sound recorders, and I'm going, oh, f please no. So the eye is for the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And you've got 200 men, you know, like you are the you are the honoured visitor. They have killed the sheep specially for you. They're all looking at you. What are you going to do? <laughs> so what did you do? <laughs> I ate it. And since then, my eyesight has been really good. <laughs> <laughs> I had to eat it. It was absolutely revolting. It really was. I did not only eat it, I had to pretend I enjoyed it. <laughs> that was the worst bit. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't, and not, not eyes. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, actually, I do have quite a strong sense of justice, natural justice. I really do resonate with um, the downtrodden and the disenfranchised and the people who are mistreated in this world through no fault of their own and uh, I think you know, that uh, it's beholden on us as human beings to um, to stand up against injustice wherever it's found so it's always been a quiet smouldering passion up until now but I suppose I don't know yeah. it's better late than never isn't it <laughs> and uh, they offer me very little money but I was happy to come along and and join the join everybody and I had work and I had to put off work to come but yes at least I'm paid a little bit and my expenses are paid and that's great and that's beautiful and it's also exhausting so sometimes you miss some bits because you're not prepared and you're, you're exhausted you can't film it and, and then you realize you don't have the scene and you have to try and find it again without ever asking people to, to, to do it again. You have to find the same scene in reality. Yeah. And, but the spirit of the pilgrimage will live on for a long time, I feel. Yeah. The pilgrimage is never over, really. Not in the giant sense, not in the, the sense of the pilgrimage. Um, the endless voices throughout history that have cried out for a, sh for a fair deal, you know. Right from the galley slaves in the Roman Empire right up to the present day. And plantation <coughs> plantations around the world and hungry people in New York, you know. People living in tents in New Jersey. <laughs> 
You know, you have to look in the developing world to find poverty. It's right there at the heart of America and the UK, people on the streets, people whose lives have been abandoned and jettisoned and discounted. And just doing my job in, in the middle of nature and having the freedom and enjoying that I, what I'm doing and enjoying being people and in the middle of nature just really making me feel complete. Really, really interesting. Especially this last bit was, was great just to hear it from all of the, pretty much all of the pilgrims. Hear the very personal things, very emotional things, which was great to get away from. This morning got a bit bogged down with more and more information and it's, you know, it was something we can connect with so much and then everyone started to be more personal. I thought that was really interesting. But I, actually, I was desperate for the toilet. <laughs> I couldn't leave because it was so... It was so interesting. So. I think it hasn't necessarily ended completely, but a major moment for me was that lovely moment on the bridge when everybody was setting off back up the hill from the lunch provided very kindly by the um, Quakers in the Quaker meeting house next to the river with all the tourists going up and down. The, their sort of um, would-be gondoliers. And um, I was just talking to George. George was explaining to me the importance of community and how that's kind of the key to everything, you know. And then I suddenly looked over and I just panned across a little bit and there were all these um, Occupy people on the bridge, pilgrims on the bridge, leaning over, talking to the tourists and arguing for social justice. And then after a minute or so they moved off and as the banner moved away, it just revealed in the background this sign it said the Canterbury Tales from the pub across the road. <laughs> and that was kind of the moment, the ending of it for me. That was sort of just the end shot of the film, I think. Mm. Uh, almost sent from God, you know. I mean, you couldn't make that up. You couldn't possibly make that up. So a really special moment. Mm.